The Boston Marathon is an iconic marathon in this country, not only in greater Boston. So the 100th Boston Marathon, my father, my husband, my brother, and myself decided that we would run the Boston Marathon together. And it sounds great at the dinner table, but it certainly leads into the training, which is very challenging. Uh, We started in December to train for the marathon. The marathon's usually in the middle of April. And if you know Boston winters, it's not the most wonderful time to be training for anything, certainly outdoors. I'm not someone who's interested in running on a treadmill for 18 miles. So it necessitates that you get outside. Um, There is a structure of training for a marathon, which is that you start, and I had never run more than three miles in my life. So I started at three miles and A marathon is 26.2 miles. And every time I went out to run, I was running further than I had ever run before. So there's that challenge of overcoming. I'll never be able to run 26.2. Well, let's just start with four. If you run four, the next week we'll try five. Then the week after that, we will try six until you build up and you build up and you build up your strength and you build up your endurance. And we as a group, meaning my father, my brother, my husband and I would, um, Every Saturday, drive into Boston, and we would run around the streets of Boston. Uh, We were with a training program, so it was a group that would help facilitate that. But every Saturday morning, get up and do however many miles that we were going to do that week. So uh, we ended up on the most beautiful April day running the 100th Boston Marathon. Major accomplishment with all of the hills in the Boston Marathon, something called Heartbreak Hill, which is uh, is very challenging for for all of the runners and certainly for people who come to Boston not knowing that there are that many hills. And it was a wonderful experience. You know, the challenge is that I didn't have the best run of my life. Some runs are good and some runs aren't good. Two weeks before that, I had run 22 miles and had the best run of my life. The day of the Boston Marathon, I did not have the best run of my life. But um, the beauty was that all of them were there for me. So when I slowed down, my father, my husband, my brother and I would slow down too. And there was something really nice about the teamwork in that. And we were all going to finish this goal that we had together. I have not run another marathon since then. I have only run one. I think about it. Um, I'm not yet ready to tackle that challenge. (laughs) 